I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. The only thing I really need to do is to sweep and mop and put the dishes away that I washed last night for dinner. So it's not too terrible. So let me show you. All right, so over here we have a very dirty rug. But this rug is wonderful in that it catches it all right by the door on the rug so it doesn't like get spread throughout the house and this is before I've just got some food laying out for dinner tonight and I'm gonna make some a chicken soup for my lunch this week just some clean dishes this is new I found these wooden lids for the mason jars and I had this here, so I put coffee in uh, Big Daddy Splendor, and this has filters. He uses the big side of the coffee pot, so he can take stuff with him, and I just do one cup a day. And then we got some more dishes here to put away. This is what this looks like before. This, you know, I already like pink, so that doesn't really need to be changed. And I've gone with a very neutral theme for this year that's my heating pad it's not always there i gotta put that away so let me get these dishes put away and let's get started come a little closer i want to dance with you everything's moving slower i don't know what it is you do i've been looking at you all night trying to figure you What you do while the floor is drying I thought I'd go through what I've got here you if you guys have been around a long time you know that at one point oops at one point, I had pink roses everywhere in this camper. So I still have them. I just don't use them as much as I did. But I thought I'd get them out. And then I have this rose sort of garland stuff that I've had. You used to see it behind me when I sat there and did intros to Menu Monday. And then all this came from Timu. So I got this little, um, it's, it's just like a pick, and I'm going to put this with my stacked books on the fireplace. I couldn't find a wreath that I was happy with for the door, you know, where I changed the O. So I got some little, these are like for cupcakes. If I can open these without scissors or not. Okay, well, they're for cupcakes and they're just like little Happy Valentine's picks. Um, and I'm going to put them on the wreath and hopefully they'll look okay there. Uh, this is a, a candle wreath and we'll put that on this candle that goes on the dining table. 
And then I have a throw blanket. I have two bead garlands. This one's pink and red. This one's just red. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them. I have plain red uh, pillowcases. I really got these for the bedroom because I'm going to put two of these on our bed. And then I have the actual Valentine uh, pillow covers. And I have a matching table runner. This all coordinates. And some dish towels. All from Timu. And I want to say this is all less than $10. I don't... You know what? I'll put it down below right here on the screen. I'll add it up and put that on for you. I started decorating this wreath. This is a wreath I purchased that didn't come with the home sign, but I like it a little better than the one that did. However, for decorating with pigs, because this is like two-tone, the pigs don't stand out, whereas this original one stands out better. So I'm going to use this one. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing under the night sky Since I have the dining room covered I'm going to start in the living room So I'm going to get the pillows going about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy this big daddy got me this in 2015 and I've had it ever since so it's also wearing my garter from the wedding <laughs> so that is a keepsake it's funny the ones you pick isn't it in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, they would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know 
looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you And I wanted you to know enjoyed decorating with me and quick cleaning putting things away and now I'm going to show you what I made this was not today so you'll see that I'm not wearing the same thing but I decided to make some potato chips in the shape of hearts and have them with our dinner so let's get going For those that are new or those that haven't been here since Christmas, I got a food processor and I've been playing with it. So I took my potatoes, put them in the chute, sliced them into rounds. Now this was as big as I could get so I used my two smaller heart shaped cookie cutters. And I was able to use both sizes. It was a medium and a me uh, neck size down, not the small one. So first thing I did was lay them out and then I used this cookie cutter to cut them into heart shapes. I just kept putting them all into the chute and then when I got a whole tray done I took the edges off and then took them out and put them in the bowl of water so that they wouldn't brown. I think I diced up and cut three potatoes to get the amount that I, I did. Okay, this is the smaller size. I'll link these cookie cutter or biscuit cutters down below if you're interested. Here they are all laid out. Just going to let them dry. I set the air fryer at 400. I cooked them for about 10 minutes. I did spray them with oil and flip them about halfway or just stir them around. And this is my second batch coming out. They were really good. I did not salt mine because I don't use a lot of salt, but they would also be very good if they were salted. Here they are all done, and this is the finished plate. I just served them with some salmon patties and some broccoli and ketchup for dipping. Okay, now I'm just going to show you the afters of everything that we have done today. I hope you enjoyed decorating with me and also the potato chip hearts. Be sure to come back next Monday. I'm going to have a Valentine's meal that I'm preparing and videoing. And I'll have that for you next Monday. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big heart emoji in the comments below and a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel and I appreciate it so much. Alright guys, I'll see you next Monday. Have a fantastic week. I love y'all. Bye-bye.